Zeus Elite Wings of Redemption. You know, we playing uh on the map fringe today. Uh the setup that I'm gonna be running on this game is the dingo. I'm using that BO3 site, the grip, rapid fire, and that's pretty much it. My perks are gonna be engineer to flip uh my care packages because as you can see I'm gonna be running care package uh Rafe and the wraps on here. Uh, since I'm running with a bunch of campers, I gotta start my score streaks off a little bit low and then work it up to big because you know sometimes it kind of gets hard trying to get the kills and everything. But you know I really enjoy myself. You know playing playing with guys like Lost Souls, Wings of Redemption, Mr. A. Zeus. At least half of the time we be in the game, we be just clowning and cutting up. You know I probably rage like 20 times during the match, especially when I die to some BS. It'd be some lag in this game. But let's go get this started. You know, I'm, I gotta make my way over here to this little house since I'm gonna camp up in here. As soon as I get up in there, up, I see one right there. Got him, you know, lay him down. Throw this in trophy system. Oh, wow, I was getting ready to get got. Alright, got him. So I throw this trophy system down there because, you know, I, I figured that they're gonna start throwing grenades and some of every damn thing else up there at me, trying to get me up out of that spot. But you know what? Your boy ain't worried about it because, hey, I'm not the best of campers, but, hey, I can hold my own, especially with this end dog on Dingo up in there. As you see, I got a diamond. I'm kind of sort of going for my dark matter. It's going slowly and stuff like that. I still got to get my sniper rifles done. Well, I only got one sniper rifle done to get done and the rest pistols and knife. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about this in gameplay. See, what I do, I get out of that window. Don't never go and stand directly in front of that window because they're going to start snipe you from everywhere. I kind of get to where you could call it corner cabin or whatever you want to call it. But as you see, it's effective. I get to the back with my back pretty much to the far right side of the wall to where I can aim out that window and catch anybody trying to come up in that window. The object of it is it's trying to keep people from running in the house and getting behind us and creating, you know, confusion and, and chaos you know if they get in that house they'll come out there and the next thing you know they be in your spawn and it, it kind of <laughs> you lose it but you know one thing that you do whenever you're playing with a group of campers you use a lot of strategy and that's what we do we got uh lost souls he's probably watching uh automotive back there and and uh Jordy, he's running around, I believe, and Mr. Azus Elise, he's watching the railroad. But as you see, I run with that number one camper uh, specialist, the Nomad, them hives, because, shoot, them hives, they come in handy, especially if you're going to be camping and, say, for instance, you're running with some old random guys. You can't depend on them to do nothing. As you see right there, I just got my Wraith. Man, that Wraith went in. Ever since that buff, that Wraith comes in quicker and it lasts long and it's harder for people to take it out. And this is about the one mistake that I made right there. I seen some guys coming from the railroad, but I thought that my teammates had them. You know, they, they got one of them, but one guy slipped through and he got me. But you know what? I'm not tripping about it. I got me another Wraith out of my care package. That's why I run Engineer, you know, to re-roll that care package up there. I done made it back to my little spot. That one guy who killed me. Man, you talking about I gave him the business for that one kill he gave me. He died probably like eight times trying to come in there and get me. If you saw at the beginning of the match, we made guys tap out. You know, they, they started playing and then when they seen they couldn't get in there on us and then they started getting these score streaks called in on them. The only thing that they could do. And you see this in that's the number one reason why I run that trophy system. For people that's trying to spam you know, war machines or the sparrow or, or grenades or anything, man. That trophy system at least deflect, you know, two of those projectiles. You never know. That could be all you need to, to get up out of the way so you could save your little car life, what I like to call it. As you see, I just called in my second Wraith. Man, this was one of the, the best games that I had that day because earlier I was, I was going negative and some of everything. I just couldn't win a gunfight to save my life. So I had to switch it up and slap that BO3 sight on there and pull out my old trusty uh, LMG, the Dredge, you know, and let the Dredge judge them. Uh, throw my hives out. You see, you don't just spam them hives out. You kind of place them 
all over the map, you know, high traffic areas. I noticed that everybody was trying to rush straight to the middle to come up in that, that uh, little White House right there to get to me. But, you know, hey, that's why you put them, you know, all around the map. You put them where you think people would want to run and get you, especially if they know you're in the area. You want to kind of cover your six down. That Rolling Thunder uh, is still a hit and miss score streak, you know. I've gotten, you know, three kills with it, four kills with it. I've seen guys, you know, wipe out a whole party with, with the uh, Rolling Thunder. Like my, my guy PSY, he did that the other day. Me, I just don't have that kind of luck with it. But this in gameplay is pretty much coming to an end. You know, the score is like 83-20. Man, a thrashing like that, I'm not even going to lie to you. I wouldn't have stayed around for it myself. When people are calling score streaks in left and right on me, do you think I'm going to stay in and, and just constantly go negative? Right now, my KD is for shit. I'm trying to pick it up, and slowly but surely it's going up. But, you know, like I said, I just really enjoy playing with a full party and playing with some guys. Every now and then, I play with just one or two guys. And believe it or not, we could sit up there and beast just like how I'm doing right now. Matter of fact, me and PSY did it on Redwood. And I might even make a little clip for you just showing you how ham I went on that little map. This is my first time using this chair factory. So, hey, y'all got to forgive me. But... Who gives a damn if you don't? Because honestly, I'm not really making this in video for anybody other than the simple fact to get some of these guys off my ass because they saying that I need to post some shit. <laughs> but nah, let me stop playing. I'm doing this in just to actually get into the swing of doing everything. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, oh well, leave a negative comment. Shit, what you eat don't make me shit. So, with that being said, y'all have a nice day. Ooh, 31 and 1. Just nasty. But, it's over with. Till next time, be easy.